Y'all, we're gonna do a fried chicken and mashed potato meal using our Ninja Speedy. Not gonna wanna miss this one. Thought I'd bring it indoors a little bit and make one of those speedy, rapid cooking meals. Okay, 15 minutes and we should be good. We got our little bag here set up with our chicken in there. Got our little chicken legs. We got six chicken legs. I think it'll fit perfectly in there. We're gonna spray them down with some avocado oil just to help everything stick. Shake that around right quick. We're gonna add about a half a container of panko breadcrumbs. Then we're gonna add this whole thing, a shake and bake, right? A little extra crispy. It has two pouches in here. I'm only gonna use the one, okay? But we want some extra crispy shake and bake. Throw that in there. Just adding all sorts of flavor to our chicken here. We're gonna use a little Caribbean Q chicken rub, about a tablespoon of it, about a tablespoon or so. Guys, if you wanna get some Caribbean Q chicken rub, I'll put a link down below for it. Kirk, the owner of this company, is a great dude. Love supporting small business. All right, I'm gonna shut this thing up and do what you do with shake and bake. Shake up your chicken. Now I'm gonna press this seasoning and uh, shake and bake onto the chicken. Okay. Let's make sure it's nice and coated. And I'm gonna set it on the tray and let it sit for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. And just let that seasoning and shake and bake adhere to the chicken legs. Get our potatoes in. That's three russet potatoes, medium size, chopped up, peeled. Gonna move them aside just a little bit to make room for the carrots. Going with a handful of carrots, Get a couple more. And it's not gonna hurt anything that they're touching the potatoes. We're not really worried about that. I'm just going with that chicken stock. It's gonna add a little flavor and it's gonna help with steaming. It's low sodium chicken stock. We're gonna add a couple pinches of salt, a little kosher salt. Season your food, baby, season your food. A little cracked black pepper on the potatoes, a little cracked black pepper on the carrots. Let's add our little, those chicken legs on. That good shake and bake. Give them a little room so they get all that good air crisping when it comes time. All right, let's get this thing turned on. Make sure we have the rapid cooker lever turned up. We got turned on, speedy meals, 390 is fine. It's gonna be 15 minute countdown after it comes up to steaming or after the steaming goes through. So hit start. You're gonna see the little countdown dashes as the steam starts building in there. And then you'll see a countdown when it's actually starting to do the cooking. While this is doing its uh, rapid cooking thing that it does, I'm also going to make a little uh, gravy for my, my mashed potatoes. I love a little gravy for my mashed potatoes. Maybe you do too. We're just gonna make a little roux with some flour and some butter, a little bit of uh, chicken stock in there, and some, uh, I'm gonna use that Caribbean Q uh, chicken seasoning in there, and uh, that'll be our gravy for the top of potatoes. Dip our little chicken leg in there too. It's gonna be amazing. Guys, hope you're digging it so far. Do me a favor, if you're finding value, hit that thumbs up. Comment down below, share, all that good YouTube stuff. All right, stick around. Team, the chicken's done. Looking nice and golden brown. So one thing I didn't say, I flipped them about halfway through. Okay, so we get, you know, total coverage, total golden browning, okay? So let's take these chicken legs out. But I mean, look at that color. That was just gorgeous. You know that's gonna be good flavor right there. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's take our little lid out. Got our potatoes and our carrots. Let's take the carrots out and start making the mashed potatoes. Got our little masher in here. Gonna add some cream. Get about a half a cup in there, give or take. A couple tablespoons of butter. Get a couple pinches of salt. A little cracked black. Just start mashing. Potatoes are all done. I like them with a little bit of texture, but you can go as creamy as you like. Those are looking dang good to me. All right, let's get this plated up. We got our beautiful meal right here. Guys, that is a rapid cooked meal right there. Know about that. I'm gonna get some of these potatoes real quick. Mm, I'm telling you, got a little texture in there, perfectly soft, but you know, I don't whip the hell out of them. I like a little bit of difference. Mm, so good, I'm gonna keep eating them. Mm. All right, we got the chicken, perfectly done. 
gorgeous skin through the crunch. Mmm, too good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Throw a little carrot in there. Keep those eyesight right. Mmm, y'all, there is too much flavor going on on that chicken. Mmm, crunchy. That good barbecue seasoning from Kirby Q. Mmm, little shake and bake. Shake and bake. Great flavors all the way around. Those carrots are done perfectly. The mashed potatoes, thing of beauty. All good, all right? Y'all wanna get one of these Ninja Speedies, I'll put a link down below to the Ninja Kitchen. It's an affiliate link, doesn't cost you anything more to use, but it helps out your boy. Knives, cutting boards, merch, all the stuff I use in my videos, even the camera to the lighting, you could all get it down below. If you wanna become a show producer, like all the awesome people scrolling in front of me right now, people that love a good, complete meal, cooked all at once, in their Ninja Speedy. Hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. And that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.